Hello everyone, I am uh, Gustav Olofsson from um, Cobham Geisler, as introduced by Sandy. And I worked as a software engineer for some of the subsystems in the GOMEX5 apps payload, as well as coordinating some of the communications interfaces between the boards. This presentation will go through the advanced payload processor, or apps. Uh, the agenda of the presentation will begin with an introduction into the apps module and the team behind it. Uh, then an overview will be given of the app's design, which is then followed by more detailed description of the GR740 system in terms of both hardware and software. Then the objectives and experiments used to establish flight heritage and showcase in-orbit uh, performance will be given. And uh, the presentation will conclude with an overview of the uh, test campaign. The aim of the apps uh, module is to demonstrate multiple processing technologies developed within ESA activities and acquire flight territories from related components or concepts. This will be performed by executing a number of experiments, some of which will involve uh, cooperation between different boards. Uh, the team behind the apps module consists of four different teams, each in a joint agreement with GOMSpace. ESA is also involved and provides technical support to each team through their technical officers. Um, Cobham Geisler is the project coordinator and responsible for the boards based on GR740 and GR716. GMV and CBK from Poland are responsible for the GNSS subsystem and uh, Brave from Brazil is responsible, UFCS from Brazil, sorry, is responsible for the Brave FPGA board. The Apps module consists of five PC104 sized board stacked, which are interconnected with separate wires and partially with board to board connectors, as can be seen in the pictures. Uh, and this module is then integrated as a one U unit into the GOMEX5 platform, which has been developed by GOMSpace in partnership with ESA uh, for the GOMEX5 IUD mission, where new space technologies will be uh, demonstrated. <coughs> The apps design um, uh, the top two boards are the con contains the GNSS uh, subsystem and involves a software receiver, RF frontend, a data processing unit, and some board to board connectors. The third board contains the Brave and Gillard FPGA and a supporting microcontroller. The fourth board contains a GR716 microcontroller and a high performance co processor demonstrator chip. And finally, the last board uh, contains the GR740 processor, as well as the main interfaces to the satellite in the form of a four-channel power connector and a CAN communications interface. This board also contains the SpaceWire uh, interface to the other subsystems. The communications interface between the payload OBC and the apps payload is over a CAN bus. Uh, where the, the GR740 acts as a router to the other app systems and perform translation from CAN packets to spaceware packets. The protocol used on the CAN bus is, a, uh, is the CubeSat space protocol, which has been uh, developed by GOMSpace and is open source. Um, the apps team has added support for the standard CSP services as listed in the presentation, and additional services have been added to support application updates more, nu more nuanced board management and um, more debugging features. The GR740 board is centered around the GR740 processor uh, and otherwise contains a boot application and working memories. The main interface, as stated, is uh, the CAN bus to the spacecraft and the uh, internal uh, spacefire router of the GR740 is used to communicate to the other app subsystems. Some GPIO pins are also used to perform board management of the other app systems, such as um, hardware reset and other functions. Uh, from the four inbound power channels, one is used to power the GR740 board, and the three remaining channels are routed directly to the outgoing connector, which then connects to the other app su subsystems. On the GR740 board, the a uh, plastic variant of the GR740 processor use, is used, which is functional equivalent to the ceramic version. The so software system is on the board is centered around the Artem's 5.1 operating system uh, due to its good um, 
your 740 board support packet uh, when using the Artems Leon cross compiler. Uh, the primary application running is a management application which performs telemetry and telecommand routing to the other app subsystems as well as some radi radiation monitoring in the background. Um, this application executes on core one and cores number two, three, and four can be used by secondary application running in an asynchronous multiprocessing mode. This is how a GNSS software defined radio experiment will be executed. Um, we also use the GR boot bootloader, which is developed by Geisler as a common bootloader for all applications, which simplify the uh, startup code development uh, considerably. To run the applications in the asynchronous multiprocessor uh, configuration, the GR740 hardware resources had to be sort of soft partitioned between the applications to fulfill the requirements. This included the use of the memory management unit to create separate regions in uh, the working memory. Uh, other configuration was made using the Artem's driver manager. Um, um, and an example of that is given here where the second application has uh, disabled uh, all the hardware it does not need and is used by the primary application instead. Uh, the communication between the applications is over SpaceWire, where the SpaceWire router is used to forward uh, SpaceWire traffic from one AMBA port to another, which eliminates the use of uh, additional hardware or shared memory pools. To reduce potential downtime in the GR740, because it has such a central f um, function in the system, uh, some FT operations have been implemented in the primary application. This includes the scrubbing of external, mem external memory and the L2 cache and radiation monitoring of the internal memories to the processor. However, the primary application is unable to monitor the secondary and other cores internal memories, so this has to be managed by the secondary application. If the secondary application were to fail due to radiation-induced error, for example, it would fail to send the required how, um, heartbeat signal, uh, which would then be rebooted by the primary application. If the primary application were to fail, a controlled code restart, code reset will be initiated where a death report be stored to a non-volatile memory, which can then be downlinked to the ground personnel after reboot. The boot system is centered around the GR boot bootloader, which takes the processor course uh, one from reset all the way into application init. Uh, once the application is finished initialization and is able to parse telecommands uh, from the onboard computer, it may then receive a command to start the second application, which then will be loaded from the SPI flash into the um, second application's working memory whereupon a um, similar boot sequence will be initiated on the secondary core in the processor. If the secondary application is an SMP application, which it will be in our case, it may then choose to boot the remaining processors in a very similar boot sequence. Then we have the GR716 board, uh, which is centered around the GR716 microcontroller and it communicates with the, the GR740 of Spacefire and some GPIO pins. Apart from executing experiments internal to the GR716 microcontroller, it also controls the SQL4 and radiation sensor suite parts of the board. In the SQL4 section of the board, we have the SQL4C uh, demonstrator ship, which is a test ship developed based on ST's 28 nanometer technology. And it contains a Leon 5 and Noel 5 um, IP cores, as well as some basic uh, peripheral interfaces. The software system on the GR716 board is centered around the, the Zephyr real-time operating system, where we use the GR716A board support package with the list of drivers. For those drivers that does not exist on the board, such as the Spacefire, they're instead used from the BCC drivers, which we have. Application update is provided by the GR740 over the RMAP interface on Spacefire. We've also implemented a low power mode on the GR716 
where the squall four part of the board is disabled by the GSM 40, and the GSM 16 disables all the space wire functionality, which reduces the power consumption uh, quite a bit. In this mode, only the TI TID experiment and SRAM single event upset radiation experiments execute, and uh, to return to normal operation, the GR740 sends a uh, wake-up signal on one of the GPIO pins. On the Squall 4C chip, uh, we, we execute the same application on both cores, but not simultaneously. They execute one at a time, as managed by the GR716. And the application is a uh, radiation monitoring application on the internal cache memories and the Ohubera as well as some test progress and uh, performance tests. The reports are sent to the GR716 over a UART, and uh, NFPDA is used to manage the, to de manage the memory accesses to the shared SPI flash. To begin the software development and validation before hardware became available, a simulate environment using the TSIM was created this allowed for testing of the kind of communication between a PC acting as a uh, onboard computer and the GR740. This simulated environment was further enhanced by adding a GR716 TC model and uh, a Squad 4 model. But uh, since the Squad 4 model does not exist, the code was compiled for GR712 and the GR712 model was added instead. Since the purpose was to test the UART communication between the applications, this was uh, a uh, sufficient solution. To, um, um, to emulate the traffic between the GR740 and GR716 spacewire, the Linux socket links are used. Um, and this solution proved to be ra rather flexible. So we were able to add uh, two more uh, TSA modules for GRSM16, which then acts as the Brave board and GNSS boards to emulate the traffic. This uh, test setup could then be quite easily ported to the actual hardware setup once it was received, and the same test script could use with very little modification, the primary difference being the use of the GRMON debugger to provide application flashing to the application memories as well as some added debug features. At this point, it also became possible to start development against the Brave and GNSS boards. To run the experiments, um, they run as a cooperative effort between uh, the consortium and the GOM space with support from ESA. The consortium is responsible for supplying experiment configurations to GOM space and analysis of received experiment data whereas GOMSpace is responsible for maintaining satellite communication. These are a subset of the experiments that will be run. The first is an experiment of all sub-experiments and applications of the GR740 and GR716 boards are executed simultaneously. This includes the squall 4 c demonstrator applications and uh, single event upset. Uh, detection experiments on the, all the various boards and applications. Then we have a long duration experiment which will operate over the hopefully full duration of the mission where only the GR716 board is active in its uh, low power mode as was uh, previously described. Uh, then we have two different GNSS applications where instead of performing the data processing on the GNSS data processing unit, the raw data is sent from the um, radio frequency front end via the space wire to the GR740 where it runs a software defined radio uh, experiment. Um, now for an overview of the test campaign. We have performed functional and performance tests on all engineer model boards, uh, and they have been per performed locally at each partner. These boards were then integrated at uh, Geisler, where an integration test was executed. Um, then we have run environmental tests on EQM model boards at STEC as a joint ESA ops team effort. Spacecraft integration. Uh, with the EM boards is currently ongoing at GOM space test facilities, where an initial, where initial test on the communications interface have been done successfully. 
mechanical test on the FM board is still in the planning phase. For the environmental tests, um, vibration and sign, by, sorry, random and sign vibration tests have been performed, as well as thermal vacuum and EMC tests. The test levels and requirement levels for these tests follow the CubeSat IOD guidelines. Uh, the thermal vacuum and EMC tests have been conducted successfully, but the vibration test, oops, oh, did it start? Yes. The vibration tests uh, had to be stopped due to very high accelerometer m values detected during the testing. A um, additional tests were performed with a high-speed camera, which further collaborated these results to show that there's, uh, there was an issue with the test frame and uh, the board-to-board -board connectors on the side, the sort of screws were not, uh, were not uh, very good. So new t vibration tests are planned for 2023. So to conclude, the GOMEX 5 apps module has been developed based on new concepts, components, and or variants. A simulator test environment was created and provided for a more efficient integration of the GR740 and GR716 boards into the app's payload. Tests have been performed on EM and EQM boards uh, locally and at uh, different test facilities. Further iteration of the mechanics is ongoing, including a follow-up test campaign planned for 2023. And uh, finally, the preparation of the flight model board varies, with the GR740 board being complete and uh, passing test and is currently in a cold storage at our facilities. If you want to have a look at the boards, they are here at display, both the GR740 and GR716 boards. And if you have further information, you can contact us at uh, sales at Geisler or visit our website. Uh, thank you for listening.